So, kyk Robin Eiland na die reis van die Kaap. Maar die eiland wat een van die wereld terreinen is, en wat spoog met een geschiedkundige achtergrond, is deze ook voor een ander interessante story bekend. Shomain Tyler, een ontwerper, maak jy weer uit die tronk sy ou heinings. Sy vertel meer. It was actually, it was the maximum security prison fence. So it was part of the, it was called Block D, which was where Nelson Mandela, Steve Biko, Ahmed Kathrada, they were all kept there. And the fence is actually, um, it is actually a prison fence. It is a custom prison fence. It's not a normal fencing. I call it a wearable artifact. Through a group called React, actually rescued the fence um, in 2009. And uh, it, it was through a friend of mine called Chris Swift. And he actually creates artwork that is out of things that are discarded or forgotten. So with that in mind, in 2009, he actually went to Robben Island and he saw them renovating the island um, and the fence was actually irreparable. It was so rusted that um, they couldn't do anything with it, so Robben Island had to write it off as scrap metal. So Chris then, through a lot of inquiries, he actually took ownership of the fence once it reached the mainland. This is what the raw fence looks like. So, as you can see, it's quite deteriorated. So, I basically take the the raw the raw metal, and I'm wanting to keep everything that is underneath. I'm wanting to keep all the texture because I, I find the beauty in the in the scars underneath, in the in the rust, in the deterioration. <laughs> so that that sort of is the character piece, the character of each piece. So each piece is actually quite unique. It's different in texture, different in the way that it bends. Each one is actually such a it's, it's such a piece because it reacts differently to the heat, differently to the lasering, differently to the plating. Um, and then I, I kind of, uh, then I cover it with, it's called a place called, uh, it's a thing called electroforming. So I electroform it to actually seal it. And then I cover it in a few processes and then finally put it over it in silver and gold. It takes quite a while. It takes about up to eight to nine weeks because it's so difficult to actually cover these. The main part of this project is that I give 10% back to the organizations that are, that are give to more sustainable employment. So I give to the Harvest of Hope, which does organic farming in the townships. And I also give to the Nelson Mandela Foundation. Wow, I, I said, I'm just so proud to be part of it, especially during this year of just thinking back on what we've been through as a country in 1994, our first elections, um, thinking about what we went through, what fears we had, and what we overcame, and actually we've got such a story to tell, and I think the story is something that everyone will be able to tell when they wear this jewellery.